Hello, 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 gerbil. How are you today? I did it. Yes. I am finally risen to the rank of affiliate. Woohoo. <laughs> oh, man. I would have never expected to make this within 2020. I would. It's. It's insane. I, to be honest, if it wasn't for uh, for Beauty Nerd, kind of pushing me to actually start streaming, um, I wouldn't have started even this year. I would have started after New Year. Yes! Thank you, Jermal! <laughs> yes! Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much, buddy. <laughs> oh, amazing, amazing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I just thought, um, you know, I wanted to uh, to celebrate, uh, basically. And why are the alerts there? They should be more in the middle. Hold on, let me fix that. Uh, there. That should be better. Uh, but yeah. I'm finally there. I've been, you know, filling out those stupid forms and everything for the last hour. So I haven't figured out as much. I at least turned the channel points into uh, shots, basically. And uh, I put in one custom uh, channel point redemption thing. Uh, you know, it's, it's a... It's, it's at least something. Um, but yeah. I'm uh, still trying to figure out uh, everything. I've been looking through also the sound thingies and all that stuff. Um, it's, it's a lot. So I am really going to need some time to figure out everything and see how... You know, how everything works, how, how to implement that and all that stuff. Uh, it, it, it looks quite uh, intimidating, <laughs> to be honest. Oh. oh, but yeah. I'm there. Yes. Uh. Yeah, like, like I said, I just need to take some time to actually look at it, basically. I mean... I also need to still find out where I can actually add emotes. I still haven't figured that one out uh, in, in the new options that I had. It even took me like over 10 minutes to even find the the uh, the channel points uh, tab. That, that was also quite, quite difficult to find. For some reason it didn't show up in the beginning. I think. I don't know. Maybe it just takes some time to put everything in. I don't know. I'll... I'll look at it uh, later. <laughs> but we'll definitely have a look at it. Thank you, Gerbil. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, man. But yeah, I thought, uh, why not have a little bit of a celebration um, for, this, uh, for this occasion. And um, yeah, just play some uh, VVV VVV. I, I really love this game. I played through it several times. Uh, the, the, I should be able to do this in, in, in like, you know, uh, very much one single stream, like two, three hours, maybe something like that. Yes, you are very much the first sub. I think you're the only one here right now, but <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, dude. <laughs> uh, so yeah, why not uh, just boot up some uh, VVV VVV? And shut you up, please. Ooh, now I am gonna have to turn down the sound like that. I hope that doesn't screw with any other sounds that might play in the background because basically this game doesn't have any... Uh, and why is the screen now again screwed up? Hold on, let me fix that. Oh, maybe because it's like that, okay. There, better. Um, it might uh, screw up with the other sounds because this game just doesn't have any uh, built-in sound options. Why, I don't know, but yeah, it doesn't for some reason. You know what, I'm gonna change category to retro hold on let me first see what it is uh, and then and uh, Uh, but yeah, like I said, I've played this game uh, many times over and I can definitely do this in a single stream. There's only one really challenging part where if you know the game, you already know what I'm talking about, Feni Vidi Vici. Uh, and if you don't, well, well, we'll get there when we get there. I love the music in this game. It's awesome. Everything okay? No, we have had some kind of interference. <laughs> We're going to crash! Ah, eventually! Yeah, basically, you are just a crew on a spaceship and things went wrong, and now you are stranded somewhere where I don't know exactly, and you uh, basically need to find your crew back. That's everything there is to do. You're basically the, the captain and you need to find all your uh, crew members who all have a name that start with a V. That's why it's called VVV VVV. And now I can just move along like to the left and right and I can switch my gravity basically. I can go either up or down. That's all I can do in this game. However, you have more control in this game than Super Meat Boy Forever. I'll tell you that. Basically, this is the, you know, the way you play this game. You, I mean, if you hit spikes, you die, and you just go back to the street to check. And that's basically all there is to it. I hope so. Okay. And these seeds are checkpoints. And hello Salsa, thank you so much for the host. Thank you, thank you. And basically all these things, if we touch them, we die. And uh, now you think we just need to go to the left, but this... Uh, thank you, thank you Salsa, thank you so much. 
yeah, I made affiliate, uh, you know, did up last night, basically. It was amazing. But yeah, there are also secrets in this game, so you need to look out uh, to where you can go. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing great. I, I feel amazing right now. Uh, now in this game there are these, I believe they are called trinkets or something. Yeah, a shiny trinket. And we found one out of 20. There are 20 to collect in this game. Now once you've collected it, you can die, it's okay. You just keep the trinket. And you can, you know, access these terminals basically. They give you a little bit of background story stuff. Not really open anymore. And here we talk to Violet, one of our crew members. So if something has gone wrong, you know, you need to find us, oh no, blah 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 blah. Interference, blah blah blah, and this is basically the map. And from here on out, we basically need to uncover every square on the map. You don't really have to, but it's, you know, that's basically the main part of the game. Explore everything, collect your crew members, collect all the trinkets. And done. Yeah, Solsta. Durable was actually already a few days ago. He, he was even faster than I am, so congrats to him as well. And that is basically where we should be able to find Violet, in that pink area. Or if, is that the ship? I don't know. Basically, we need to go everywhere on the map. And not in a way that you would think. We're <laughs> growing up so fast. that we have the trinket we can just die and teleport back to the checkpoint because we have collected it. For the lurk, Solsa. Thank you, thank you so much. If, if we don't uh, hear from you anymore, uh, happy new year. Have a good uh, turning of the year. I keep forgetting how to say that. Uh, but yeah, thank you, thank you so much. found Violet. We basically found our first crew member and we finished the first level. And for remain. 
play request, uh, all kind of blah blah blah, flavor text. But we really need to find uh, our crew members who are stuck somewhere out there. And can they teleport back? Well, they could, but we basically need to hold their hands to bring them back towards the teleport. Yeah, we need to find them, head into, out into the dimensions and uh, look for anywhere they might have ended up. So just go explore. And these are all points of interest, baby, basically. Yeah, 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 stop talking. And we are just gonna go out into the main hub area and go into corridors and just see what kind of areas we can explore. Now this may look a little daunting, you know, like this, this feels like a huge, huge area. Uh, it is, kinda, but it's also not all that, uh, that big. Basically I'm just exploring now around our ship just to have the starting area at least a little bit, you know, visible on our map. thinking like, wait, wait a minute, we just revert, we went all the way back to the area we already were. And that's true. Basically the map works the same as our screen. If you go left, and you keep going left, you come out again on the right side, going to the left, basically. The whole map is connected into one big space. have our first quote-unquote full level. And we found already a pretty difficult one. Now you can do these levels all in any random order you want to. You can go everywhere at any time. There are no unlocks or special abilities or stuff like that. There's nothing like that in the game. So you can go everywhere at any time. There is a trinket there on the top left, which is a little bit easy to get, but there we go. We just got on the wall. Going the 
hard way right now is because there is a trinket right here. On your first way through the game, you probably wouldn't know that, but if you play this game long enough, then. And at some point you just know these kinds of things. Okay. or something, I don't know, but we found Vermilion. Let's continue. And let's see, where should we go? Let's go down. And not here, but down. If we touch them, they basically reverse our gravity for us. Seems easy enough. So there you get more tricky stuff like that. take some practice getting used to uh, the mechanics in order to do this uh, a little bit more quickly. Turn the music down just a little bit more. Okay, that's better. That's better. Like I said, this game doesn't have any in-game option for uh, sound. It's pretty annoying. Is that the thing? Really? Wait, let me then do it. Right. That? How, how is that? Is that better? That should be better. Yeah, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, 
Uh, now I don't remember if the correct way through is. No, th this is where the trinket is. Yeah, 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 yeah. There, there it is. Whoops. Whoops, come on. There we go. And now we go like that, that, that. Ooh, almost. This is still all pretty, pretty easy. Once we get to Veni Vidi Vici, that is basically the big challenge of this game. Now you could also argue that the Gravitron, uh, which is gonna come up next, is also a pretty challenging part of this game, but um, basically the game is pretty lenient on how you can continue through the Gravit Gravitron, basically. And I'll explain that when we get there in just a sec, if I can actually manu maneuver through this. Now I do need to pay some attention right here because there is a trinket to get here that you can easily miss, I believe. I believe it's through there. There. Basically, we are now a little bit outside of the level, but that is very much intended. Because of this trinket right here. See, and we already found 8 out of 20. That shows you how small the game actually really is, basically. Yep. And also, if you look at the screen names, they can be somewhat hilarious. Yeah, I'm gonna go save you. Yeah, 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 blah, 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 follow me. Now we saved this crew member, but we're not done just yet. Now the actual challenges, challenges start. Basically, this is just uh, an escort mission. Now the way this works is if, um, as long as we touch the ground, um, Victoria, that's her name. Victoria is basically gonna follow us to a certain extent. How that works, you basically need to play the game to really feel it. Basically, when the space is big enough between you two, uh, when it comes to your horizontal position, then she starts running towards your position. But if I'm touching the ceiling, she waits. Now, once I drop down back again here, she's gonna run towards us. Like that. But she does keep a little bit of a space between us. So like this. I can move around wherever I want, but I need to time it correctly so she can make a safe passage. Because if she gets hit, then it's also GG basically. Like that.
And now we were apart, but now we are gonna do this stuff while we're in the same area, basically. Um, whoops. Basically, we need to time it so she can step onto the platform, but not run into the spikes. So we do need to position ourselves in such a way that she actually stays on the elevator and then moves along or lifts or whatever. Uh, 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 don't screw it up. Now be careful to not have her run into the spikes. Now this is a really, really tricky one. Because now we basically have to reverse our gravity up and down to make her step onto each and every platform but actually stops there and not just keeps running and falling into the spikes. Like that. And that's not all, but now, cause now we actually need to make it back ourselves and actually do this ourselves like that. And this is always a tricky one. Let me time this properly, almost. look a little bit ridiculous but that is really the only way to have her actually walk far enough to to clear the to clear the pathway all the way to the end so we continue on again and uh, let's see where do we want to go let's go left Gal Gadot, Brie Larson, and Natalie Portman. Wow, that's actually a good one. Um, let me think about that one. Um, I think I would... I think I would marry... Gal Gadot because she seems the the sweetest of the three I think I mean I only know them from the roles they play in movies I don't really know them by by person um, so I, I think I'd, I'd say marry Gal Gadot and then it comes down to who I'd bang, who I'd kill. And I think i go with bang Natalie Portman, kill Brie Larson. There. <laughs> I think. Oh, you 100% agree? Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so I'm not spouting out all kind of gibberish nonsense. Ba-da-da, ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba
Yeah, basically the, these ter terminals can, you know, show you all kinds of stuff. Which you don't really need if you already know the game. Yeah, I know, but that's a cheat. That's a cheat. <laughs> I mean, you shouldn't marry someone just so you can bang them all you want, basically. That's not the, you know, the best intention of marrying someone, I think. I feel like we are gonna go towards Veni Vidifici, I believe. Wait, did I forget one, Tricket? No, I didn't forget that one, did I? No, we sh should get that one later on, I believe. Um. <laughs> oh, whoops. Eh. There we go. Uh, miss. God, I love this music. Yeah, exactly. We need to actually... Uh, how did we do it again? Because we need to get to the other side. Yeah, okay, through here. isn't all that hard. Derp a derp. Derp a derp. Now there is also a challenge where you basically finish this game without dying a single time. I'm not gonna do that. That is insane. This is actually kind of tight here. Come on, just wait on the second platform. There. Uh, oops. There we go. Now, don't ask me why the visuals are the way they are. Just appreciate them for what they are. They're just colorful and amazing, if you ask me. Now, we are not gonna, gonna go through the teleporter. Because... Uh, hold on, where did... We saw a trinket down here. Oh, and this is the way we get to the trinkets. There. Oh, wait, so we do need to make it over to the other side, basically. Like this.
And here we are at the Vini Vidi Vici. Basically, we want to get that trinket on the right. But this one single block is holding us back. So we need to go five screens up and five screens down in a single run. And it's pretty difficult. <laughs> it's basically just learning what the screens look like and then just performing going up to that platform and then going all the way back down and landing on the right side of that block. Also very important. If you land on the left, you just have to go and do it again. Yeah, it, it, it looks more difficult than it is. If you, you know, have a feeling for the controls, then it is honestly not all that bad. But it does take some time getting used to the controls. I mean, basically you go from 0 to 60 in like, you know, 0.1 second, basically. There is no slow moving button or something like that. You just go. And like I said, this is in fact the uh, most difficult trinket to get in the main main game of, of this game. There, uh, there are a lot of like fan-made levels and worlds and all stuff like that, but they all come down to basically the same premise, just the same kind of gameplay. I forgot to go to the right. I mean, if you do this for the first time, then getting up to the top platform to begin with, that is already hard enough. But then to even go back down again, it's just, it's ridiculous the first time you try this. I think I spent like two hours here before I finally did it. I mean, the music makes up for a lot of the frustration you can get from this game. Come on. Okay, now I'm getting impatient. <laughs> there we go. That's how you do it. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, uh, wait, we need to go this way. Uh, That was a tricky part, yeah. I mean, we've been here before, but we couldn't reach either the left or the right side because we were going up and down. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Oh, uh, and this is also a very difficult trinket to get, but it is doable. Basically, we uh, need to go all the way around to the trinket without hitting any checkpoints. That is basically what we have to do. Hitting even the first spike. Come on. Dip, dip. I did it. Not like that, obviously. <laughs> I was thinking maybe I did something wrong, but it's it's not the case. I just need to time that correctly. Basically jumping from the second to the third platform. Why do I keep bumping my head? Oh, I actually did it! <laughs> oh, come on. to navigate this without hitting the checkpoints ah and then we get back here on this screen basically Oh, 
come on, this shouldn't take that long. Now, because we activated that, uh, that that platform, basically, we can die here, but have the platform still be active. If we would leave the screen, then this screen gets reset, and so also does the platform get reset. That is why we uh, didn't uh, want to hit any checkpoints, because we need to die on this screen while the platform is active, and then stay on this screen in order for the platform to stay active. That's the whole reason. I mean, if we leave this screen and now come back, the platform is reset. So now we can just move along and actually hit all the checkpoints. And we can do this the easier way. I mean, I believe the top way is the easier way. I'm not sure. I, I'm now acquainted with the bottom route, so let's do the bottom route. And let's hit the checkpoint just to be safe. And here we have Viridian. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Just move along. What we saw in um, Super Meat Boy Forever, the uh, mechanic with the spider, where it locked the screen and then you can go from left to right on a single screen. We are going to do that right here. And here we have the Gravitron. Basically, we need to survive for 60 seconds. Now, luckily, we don't have to survive for 60 seconds on a single run. I believe ex every five seconds is a checkpoint. Yeah, like that. So the game is actually trying to help you a little bit to get through this part. I mean, there is a challenge mode for the Gravitron where you basically do an infinite Gravitron. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. This is just you know, a fun bit in the game and I don't really need to challenge myself any more than this part already does. seconds to survive. Ten more. Five more. And done. And that is the Gravitron. Actually it is kind of easier than the other challenges we just did. I believe we only have one more crew member to collect. But as you can see, there's still a lot more map to discover. 
So let's go up and to the left. So this way. Let's actually get every screen. I believe this is the way to the elephant? Question mark? Is this the way to the elephant? No, I'm not so sure. <laughs> oh, no, now it's just another trinket, okay. Basically there is a huge, huge elephant in this game. <clears throat> Excuse me. Which also counts as a checkpoint. Hmm. Was this the elephant then? No. It is still not the elephant. This is just basically some sort of maze. And screens may look the same, but they are not. Basically, we are just gonna go to each and every corner of this quote-unquote maze in order to find a trinket or something like that. Now, this may look like we're just going through the same screen, but it's not, they just look the same just to confuse you basically like that and i am gonna check yes i've done every screen right here i believe so we are gonna go to the left far left i believe gonna go down and to the right and then down and to the right again and then we have one down yep and then we go to the right again and this is actually progress um, but I don't want to go here yet because I do believe this is our final crew member and I don't want to rescue him just yet uh, so let's go over here and explore some more because there are still a few trinkets we need to collect uh, so we just explore more to the left of here And yes, let's go down into this hole first. Another 
teleporter. Not all that useful, but sure, I'll take it. Now we have been here before, I believe. We've just not explored everything just yet. Oh, and this is the elephant, I believe. Yeah, this should be the elephant. Say hello to the giant elephant. I don't know why, but it's it's there. <laughs> And I do believe if you stay long enough on this screen, our character gets sad. Yeah, because the elephant is sad. Why? I don't know. It's just the thing that's in the game. <laughs> now he just has a sad face, but he's happy again. <laughs> Um, let's see. So we've done that. We've done that. We still need to do the bottom right corner, I believe. Of this open area. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. Okay, so we've done that. Then we need to go to two screens up, I believe. And in here. That gives us that square over there. And I think now we need to teleport somewhere else. So let's go and do that. There's the teleport. Um, so we still have the area on the right, but we get there by going to the left. So I feel like we need to go back to the ship and then basically up and around to the left again. Wait, we already did that. Yeah, we, I, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm going to finish this uh, in a single sitting. I mean, we're already almost at the end, basically. Just trying to remember how to get everywhere. Because, yeah, there should be more to the left, I believe. So we go again down and around. I mean, up and around, or however you say that. This way. Yeah, see, this is new. And here we have another trinket. Uh, whoops. There. Uh, don't be impatient. There we go. Um, so we've done that. Uh, let's see, how do we get there? I mean, we've done that. We've done that. We've been there. We've been there. There and there. There, there. Yeah, I think we just need to go to the green area, I believe.
I think we do. Really? Was that already it? I thought there was a little bit more, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, wait, where are we going? The ship is over here. Uh, 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 over here. Yeah. So let's go here and just do this part. Now here a lot more of this going through the left, coming out the right mechanics come into play basically. And yeah, this can be a little bit of a, a brain fuck if you uh, if you're a little tired or a little drunk, then this can really get to you basically. Oh, oh yeah, we need to go here. actually need to maneuver our way through like that and then again it's a little tricky because you need to look at both the left and the right side of the screen at once but once you've got the hang of it it's it's okay it's doable I say as I keep failing. There. Eh, whoops. Um. There. And then we go here, and then here, and then here, here, here. Now, major, major kudos to whomever did the level design on this game. It's it's amazing, if you ask me. Um, hold on, where are we going? Oh, yeah, we're going this way and then this way. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Ba -da -ba -da 
para, para, para. And there we go. Uh, uh. Now I do believe this already sets in motion the final part of the of the game, but I don't think we found all of the trinkets just yet. Basically, this is going to be a gauntlet of all the mechanics we've, we've found so far, basically. Uh, other way. Outside first. Because there is a trinket to get, I think. Right, or do we need to go in here first? I don't remember. No, we need to go this way first, I believe. Don't we? Or does it, does it even matter? Um, I don't remember exactly. Oh, okay. But there shouldn't even be a trinket here because this is a closed off area when you finish the game. So. Mm -hmm. And now shit is gonna hit the fan basically. Because the dimension dimensional stabilizer is now offline. So now all of the different dimensions are gonna collapse basically. of a screen. There we go. Oh, that's the way. Now we go through here back. That was the idea. Come on, derp. There we go. Come on. 
Again, this isn't all that hard. There we go. Oh, run. <coughs> Have a drink. Look, look. A hydrate thing. That should be a thing. A channel redemption thing. Channel points. Hydrate. Hey, Michael. Welcome to the affiliate celebration stream. Yeah, 19 out of 20, we still miss one. Because <laughs> this is basically GG. This is the end of the game. <laughs> so we are gonna go back and look for that final one. I, I don't really remember where we left it. But yeah, like, like you see, I, I finished this game in a little over an hour. This, this game is, you know, short but fun. A little challenging and yeah, I, I just love this game. I want this achievement for less than 500 deaths, apparently. But it's a bronze medal. I think there's also one for less than five and even zero, so yeah. So it should spit us out right here. Basically this is, ah, oh, happy, happy, joy, joy, yay. Blah, 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 blah. And another great song. So yeah, we have the end credits here. Again, amazing, amazing game. But I do wanna collect that final trinket. Basically, the entire crew is one big band. For some reason. Yes, we do want to keep exploring. Time trials, flip mode, blah, blah, blah. All kinds of challenge things you can do. As you can see on the right side, there is still a little area we haven't explored yet. 
But I don't remember how to get there. How did we get there? Hmm. I honestly don't remember. <laughs> um, I thought we teleported in there, but how? Everywhere. Why don't? Huh? <laughs> I've never had this problem. Hold on. I mean, this isn't the area we need to be in order to get there, but it is right there. I mean, we've been there, we've done that. Am I missing something? Do we need to talk to one of our crew members or something? It's not the warp zone all over again. I've done this. I've already played this game many, many times. I just don't remember how to get to that one specifically. Oh. <laughs> and there is number 20. I didn't remember we actually got number 20 from our crewmate. But that, that still leaves that little area we haven't explored yet. Because this is the way we get to that final part, I believe. Yeah, that's it. Derp a derp. Combine! And I believe this is basically just an extra hub area, the secret lab, where you can access all kinds of different kind of challenge thingies. Here, and these are all challenges. So less than 500 deaths, less, less than 250, less than 100, less than 50. Uh, less one minute in the super Gravitron, you know, stuff like that. All kind of... Uh, time trials and here is if you complete the game in no death mode so finish the game without dying a single time yeah uh, not gonna happen yeah the super gravitron this is the super gravitron which is basically just an infinite Gravitron to challenge yourself. 
to see how well you manage to do well there 10 seconds I'm gonna stop this is I've tried this before and I believe I got to like 21 seconds 22 seconds something like that yeah okay so yeah but I do believe that is in fact the entire map see that's the, the area we missed and that is basically a quote-unquote full run of VVV VVV. No, just a fun single one-off game. You know, I, I really like it. I just forgot that we actually got the, the 20th one uh, from uh, one of our crewmates. Whoops. Yeah, but yeah. So far, uh, for VVV, VVV. Um, and I don't feel like quitting just yet. Um, let's see, what do we do? I mean, I said I was done with Super Meat Boy Forever, but we can have a look at that Warp Zone level. You know, the, the final one we found uh, at the end of last uh, last stream. We can have a look at that. The uh, the Mega Man level. Yeah, let, let's do that. I do feel like finishing at least that level. <laughs> if Super Meat Boy actually wants to boot. Yes, okay. Thank you. And let's... Change this back to Super Meat Boy Forever. This is Bandage Girl. Now, I do believe the sound can go up a little bit more to there. I believe this is fine, right? When it comes to volume of the music. If not, please tell me so, then... We can fix that. Uh, wait, this is... This is world 5. Yeah, no, we need to do world 4. Wait, hold on. It didn't save because... <laughs> It didn't save because I just quit out of the the warp zone before actually finishing it. So I actually need to get it again. However, I do uh, now in fact know how uh, this game actually is built up. Because now I actually looked at someone else playing this game. Um, the levels we play are in fact randomized. These are not uh, pre-created levels. What they did is they basically made uh, chunks of levels. So it is not like a complete randomized thing. But there are basically bits and pieces of level uh, the game can take in order to form this level. So someone else could be uh, playing like this exact level, the 4-2, but could have different parts uh, coming up and also the same parts. That's basically what they, they did. And that makes it so that in order to actually play everything the game has to offer, you need to play different seeds of randomization for this game. Which, again, I think is not really the way you want to do a Super Meat Boy. Yeah, exactly. It is not fully randomized, but like, in fact, where the, the pacifiers are, where the warp zones are, that is, in fact, uh, randomized. And also how the level is built up, basically. Basically, I've seen someone else play and they uh, had some parts of the level that I also had, but also parts that I never saw before.
which I do think is kind of weird, but yeah. I mean, that's the way they, they went with, so, okay, sure. Oh, I don't remember how I did it exactly yesterday. Basically, I want to be careful not to jump too far or else we just lose this attempt and we need to do the level all over again. Wait, I didn't touch that one? Uh, no, I didn't. Yeah, so basically the the parts we play, like each and every checkpoint in the game, basically, those are all pre-made, but oh, I needed to dash. Uh, but the which uh, parts the game actually takes to create the level and in which order they are shown, basically, that is randomized. And I don't feel like I think that is a neat mechanic, to be honest. No, oh, crap. Okay, we need to do the level all over again. And basically the reason you are able to cheese some parts of the level is just because they didn't design it all that well, all these chunks basically. Or maybe it really is intended that you can cheese a lot of parts, but I doubt it. I mean, it is true if you play through this game only one time, then you don't get to experience everything there is and you basically do the same with you know cheesing through parts of the level which i guess they are and by they i mean the developers they are fine with considering you just don't see everything the game has to offer in a single playthrough and if you don't uh you know, wait a while and have people come up with actual seeds that have the most variety in the levels, then you can basically just get stuck and, you know, randomize over and over and over again in order to see everything the game has to offer. Which is weird. Ah, oh, come on. It does give it replayability, yeah. But... I don't know. I feel like, you know, the original Super Meat Boy ha also has replayability simply because it is fun to play through again. You know, and just making it so that sometimes you get to see, you know, new bits and pieces of level I don't know, it, 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 
should add to the replayability, but for me it really doesn't. I mean, there is no guarantee that you get to see new parts. You know, maybe I already saw 75% of the chunks there are. Maybe I only have seen 2%. I don't know. And I will never know, basically. Because there is no real way without, you know, people on the internet actually, you know, figuring this out and, you know, hardlining all these seeds, basically. You know, there, other than that, there is no real way to actually know if you've seen everything there is. And to me, that doesn't really add to replayability. It just adds to frustration of, you know, not getting to see everything there is. And you just need to get lucky, basically, in order to hopefully see something that is new, basically. Uh, no, I don't believe Isaac is available. Let me check. Uh, binding of Isaac. Uh, repentance. I know, I believe it, it, it comes out in like uh, a few hours. And no, they actually... <laughs> <laughs> the bastards they actually did move it uh, back to 2021 <laughs> yeah exactly i mean well with bloodborne you know there is a main game uh, main design uh, game you can go through if you go through for the the chalice uh, thingies those are randomized and that can take a lot of time uh, before you see everything but the way I played Bloodborne, I never really did any of those challenge dungeons or anything. I don't really care so much for that. I care for pre-designed levels and areas and, you know, actually experiencing the way, you know, the developer intended. And not just some random chunk stick together and, yeah, okay, there you have a level. Yeah, I mean, Bloodborne is good. It really is, but... Yeah, like I said, that is just not really what I want. I want, like, you know, something concrete, something designed. You know, I'm not that big of a fan of RNG, basically. I like to have control. But yeah, um, no, uh, Isaac is not going to be available. <laughs> and I thought that might happen. I was hoping it wouldn't, but... Yeah, they did push it back... Uh, you know, somewhere uh, in a couple of upcoming months, hopefully. Who knows? We'll see. But when it comes out, I will definitely look at it uh, around here. <laughs> but for now, uh, yeah, we still need to wait. Now, can I just please get this warp zone? I mean, basically, we need to, you know, create a large enough distance in order for us not to blow up thanks to the dynamites. But we also need to be close enough. In order to actually not jump over the wall towards the end of the level. There we go. So, let's do some Mega Man. And like I said, said yesterday, I'm not really going to focus all that much on actually hitting him. I'm just going to focus on actually, uh, you know, dodging his shots, basically. that That's the main goal.
Dude, stop jumping around. Please. It's already hard <laughs> enough as it is. But we already almost did it. Okay. Dude! Derp. I don't know, I am gonna turn up the music just a little bit. I can barely hear it myself. Did I also turn this one? Oh, maybe that's why. Th that should be a little better. Mom, we were already so close. How you did a playthrough with boss? Awesome. Basically just depending on how high he jumps, he either throws one, two or three of those saw blades, basically. You know, the small jump is one saw blade, like that. The middle jump is two saw blades and the high jump is three. But then dodging them is still kind of tricky. Especially since you need to actually stay away from the back wall. But wait, isn't there a way to actually hit him with our, you know, our punch or our dive? I am gonna try. No, if we touch him, we die. <laughs> yeah, that was worth the shot. Getting close. Dude, stop jumping over to my side. Now I know I can force him to jump over to the other side if I get close enough. But sometimes he does it on his own.
Can you please stop doing the high jumps? I want to hit you. There we go. <laughs> Mega bandage. <laughs> okay, cool. Ah, uh, so yeah. I mean, we can do some more Super Meat Boy, but... Eh. I don't know. I don't really feel like it. No, this this was basically what I wanted to do, uh, you know, on this part at least. Um, let's see. What else can we do? Yeah, but what should I play? I mean, I have nothing really, uh, nothing else really set up or anything. Um, let me think. We did that. We did that. Hmm. Final Fantasy VII. Nope. <laughs> I'll leave that one to you, buddy. <laughs> No, I am not going to start a Final Fantasy VII uh, playthrough. Nope. <laughs> yeah, do you really want me to start with the Super Meat Boy, I mean the original right now? I mean, we just did Super Meat Boy Forever. I mean, we, we, we can. I mean, it's going to take some time to actually 100% complete that. I was thinking of doing some other games in between, like VVV, VVV. I mean, the ones that I have on my list right now, which I thought maybe would be fun. Um, yeah, roguelites is always an option. Um, basically, I want to do a uh, Super Meat Boy 100% uh, completion, the original. But I thought I might do some other games in between. And the three, well, four, one of them was VVV, VVV. We already did that. But um, the other games I wrote down that might be a possibility were Devil May Cry. So the original one, the first one of the PlayStation 2. Uh, just do a regular new game, uh, new game playthrough of that game and show off some of the secret missions and stuff. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I also have Doom Eternal. I did start uh, with a playthrough on that one, but it didn't really grab me. I don't know why, but maybe I just need to give that one another try. Um, and Abe's Odyssey. Now again, that is not going to be 100, I mean not a 99 Mudokan save run. But... I am going to at least try and save a lot of them, not all of them. Uh, but those are the three I wrote down. I don't know what you guys would prefer when it comes to these games. Apes Odyssey, Devil May Cry or Doom Eternal. I can go either three. I have nothing set up, so it, it will take me a few minutes to get the screen capture correctly and all that stuff. But I can play these in either either order. I don't I don't really mind. Uh, I want to play through them all. So uh, it's up to uh, to you guys basically. Yeah, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep going. I haven't even been streaming for two hours, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep going. I really am not done for today, but it's 
Sorry, I'm getting all kinds of New Year's wishes, messages and stuff like that. I'll look at it later. Uh, you want to see Devil May Cry? Okay, cool. Then let me install Devil May Cry real quick. Now, where did I leave that one? There. Now it still has to download, but it only takes a few minutes. Uh, yeah, well, the going live notification now also doesn't work anymore, but yeah, let's leave it as is. And let's change this to Devil May. Cry, not five, not four, not three. Wow, really, they have different. You can choose, you know, one or three or stuff like that, but you can also use uh, choose for one HD, the HD collection, the triple pack. Dude. I mean, this, this is the HD collection I have, which is the Steam version. So let's make it that one. I don't know, do I? Do I want to make it that one or do I just want to make it the original one? Yeah, let, let's just make it the original one. There. Now it still has two more minutes to download. So, uh, Michael, uh, are you going to be uh, joining us uh, tonight for the fun and games? Uh, you know, basically gaming our way into the new year. Is that something you are going to join us with? Oh, right. Yeah, you, you said you had plans, right? With the family. Yeah, you said. Sorry, forgot about that. Uh, let me remove v -v 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 from my computer real quick. Uh, manage uninstall. Yeah, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. It says here that uh, the 500 deaths or less, bleh, 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 500 deaths or less in uh, VVV, VVV, uh, that only, um, wait, I had it right here. Hold on, where, where was it? Only four and a half percent of players managed to get that. So yeah, I'm a badass when it comes to gaming. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to uh, to fill the void right now. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's done with downloading right now. Uh, I am going to take, uh, which one, which one, not that one, not that one, this one. I am going to copy this and call it uh, devil, oh, yeah, devil me cry. You're going to move up and you're going to move up. You are going to move down 
there. Then we are going to delete you. And we are going to add a new one. We call Devil May Cry Scream. And you are going to go all the way down there. And then we are going to see how this game actually boots. <laughs> yeah, VV. <laughs> Um, now do please tell if uh, the sound is okay. Or if it needs to be turned down a little bit or up a little bit. I think it's alright, isn't it? Maybe up a little. Yeah, well, this is also a quite uh, a quiet menu for now. So, Can I continue. Yeah. So we'll see how it uh, how it sounds when we are actually in game. Now I have been playing this uh, this version uh, already, um, and I am right now on uh, Dante Must Die. Um, but now I need to actually uh, do the Virgil fight. Well, it's not technically called Virgil in this game, but uh, yeah, that's just a huge, huge pain in the ass basically <laughs> so we are just gonna do a new game with uh with dante on normal mode so i can actually show the game a little bit <laughs> two millenniums ago there was a war between the human world and the other the underworld but somebody from the underworld woke up to justice stood up against this legion alone. His name was Sparta. Sparta. Later, he quietly reigned the human world and continued to preserve harmony until his death. He became a legend. The legendary Dark Knight, Sparta. Yeah, this game is not about him. We get this story about the legendary Dark Knight, Sparta. And we are not going to talk about him anymore, basically. He's going to be referenced somewhere, but it's not about him. Devil May Cry. Oh, sorry, we closed at nine. Again, no password. I can't seem to get any real business. Whoa, slow down, babe. She just busted well, open the door do and he's just gonna be there like, slow down, oh, babe. It's in the back. So, you must be the handyman who'll take any dirty job. Am I correct? Almost. I only take special jobs. If you know what I mean. You're the man who lost a mother and a brother to evil 20 years ago. The son of the legendary Dark Knight Sparta, Mr. Dante. Exposition! Well, the way I figure it, in this business a lot of you don't kind of come around. And if I kill each one that comes, eventually I should hit the jackpot sooner or later. In that case, you should be used to this sort of thing. <laughs> This is so awesome. Are you really the son of the legendary Dark Knight Sparta? Didn't your daddy teach you how to use a sword? 
Yeah, let's throw my bike at him. <laughs> Time to go to work, guys. Even as a child, I had powers. There's demonic blood in me. What strength? You were the first one to know about my inventions. It looks like I'm getting close. Now that he is invulnerable, okay, but it's close. It seems that way, but I'm not your enemy. My name is Trish. I came here to seek your help, to put an end to the underworld. What? I came here to seek your help by stabbing you and throwing a bike at you. Yeah, he does get impaled, but his clothes also survive. Are, are his clothes also demonic or something? Yes. His powers were sealed by Sparta. He's attempting to gain control of the human world once again. He has been preparing to open the gate on Malay Island. Island. Yeah, magic clothes, I guess. <laughs> It has been quite a while since I last played this, so I do need to get reacquainted with the controls on, just a go. little bit. Huh. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I think I feel it again already. Yellow orbs are basically continues. We are hopefully hopefully not gonna need them. And blue orbs are life. Uh, basically your life uh, uh, upgrades. And these orbs uh, can come in fragments. And if you grab four uh, blue orb fragments, you get one extra life upgrade. Uh, he is not wearing plot army. He is basically just half demon, half angel. I believe that's called like a, a Nephilim or something. He is just, he is not human. He may look human, but he is definitely not human. Uh, the dead angel or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now there are a lot of red orbs to collect. But I don't remember exactly where. And red orbs are basically the currency in this game. With this we can buy... Items and upgrades and all that fun stuff. So basically, if you play this game enough, then at some point, red orbs are basically obsolete. You just don't need them anymore. Yeah, Nephilim, okay. Yeah, there's a taunt. That is a map. Wasn't there also a run button? No, there was not. No, th there was not. I remember now. Um, <laughs> some more red orbs. And I do believe there was also one on top of this horse. On top of this knight. Or one, at least some. If I can actually jump on top of it. There. Um, let's see. Now there is also a blue fragment up there. And... Uh, 
Let's see if we can actually get there. I don't remember. There's also one on top of the store, yes. Right here. Basically, this statue is going to come up uh, a few times in this game. And it basically, uh, you know, is our shop. So, yeah, blah, 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 blah. But we cannot use it right now. Because we haven't gotten our first shop yet. If that makes sense. Now, I don't remember if we can actually reach this one just yet. Yeah, we can. Okay. And here we have another blue orb fragment. Now, I do believe this is actually all there is for now here. I think. And this one needs a rusty key. Yeah, so we need to go this way first. Now, how these mechanics work with these orbs and these doors and that you need to collect them and stuff, I have no idea, but it, it works the way it works. Just accept it. I'm just breaking everything because sometimes stuff contains red orbs. And especially in the beginning, you really want those red orbs to buy all your upgrades. Mm, wait, that's, that is actually the way we need to go. Because the rusty key is up there. What was in here? Oh, right. This was... Yeah, we... We get back here at some point. Now we already found four uh, blue orb fragments. So we get a little bit of an HP upgrade. And this is a ladder we come down through later in the game. Um, some more red orbies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we need to go up there. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. I just want to break all of this stuff. There. Now I believe this is not breakable. Hello, Bloody Mary. That's the name of this enemy, Bloody Mary. You know, there are all kinds of puppets in this game that come alive, but the red ones uh, are called Bloody Mary. And that is a regular uh, puppet enemy. Yeah. Oh, this game feels so awesome to play. It just makes you feel like a badass, basically. Now, the frustrating thing about this, uh, I'm already feeling the, the muscle memory in my fingers uh, starting to come up. But there are still a few abilities we don't have, like the stinger, for instance. It's basically like a thrust forward. That That is just an ability that is within my fingers and I, I want to do it, but yeah, I cannot do it yet because we haven't unlocked it yet. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now we need to go down there. I know. Yeah, that is an ability of... Uh, on the Alistair uh, sword. Yeah. 17 puppets are my master. Yeah, so basically you need to first kill all of the puppets in this area. And we already see some of them hanging, but they don't come alive until we go down here first. Oh, 
No, let go of me. And green orbs uh, give you your health back. Now basically the the words you see on top are basically our like uh, our multiplier. The higher it is, the more red orbs we get from killing the enemies basically. You want to chain as much attacks uh, together and also different kind of attacks. If you just keep spamming the same attack over and over again, it, it doesn't really like that. You need to put some variety in your attacks, basically. And stylish is basically the highest rank you can get, in this game at least. Basically, uh, you go from D to C to B to A to S. durable it does feel like you really know the game uh, if i'm missing any um any secret missions please tell me i don't really remember where they all are i know a few i don't know them all by heart and at the end of the level you get a ranking and you get orbs uh, depending on your ranking on how well you did how fast you are how how your damage multiplier got, how much damage you took, stuff like that. And yeah, let's save it. You know, on number 10 for now. Dude, cut it. Wasn't there also something up there? I feel like there was something on top of that head. This is now our actually first shop and we can for now only buy a few items, not even all. Because we don't have our devil trigger yet. Hmm. No, I thought there was like a, a blue orb or something up here. have my stinger yet ah.
intended way, I believe, is to go here. Question mark. Yeah. So we want to go here first. Oh, this one was locked. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. okay. Wait, we... We cannot grab Alistair just yet, can we? I am Alistair, blah, 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 blah. Or can we grab Alistair right now? Oh, we can. Oh, I thought we had to go in the other room first. Well, basically, Alistair is gonna grab us, but sure. Now again, how this works with his organs, if he is even somewhat human on the inside, I don't know. Just let's not think about it. I mean, he basically goes through part of his head even, and it's just, it's, yeah, insane. But awesome. We are gonna cut through some falling glass. Awesome! I don't know, because he's Dante? He's awesome? <laughs> That's why? Now, is this the part where we can actually now get the secret mission here? Remembering something being up here for some reason. No, I, I know this room is a secret mission, but yeah, let's use our double trigger. Uh, for those who do not know, basically now because we have Alistair, we also have. You know, uh, the ability to use our Devil Trigger, which is the, you know, the weird, you know, signs, letters, whatever it is, beneath our health. Uh, once all three of those are full, we can, we can enable our Devil Trigger, basically turning into a even more powerful demon, doing more damage, attacking faster, and also have, uh, if you buy them, uh, the ability to use some more... Uh, abilities, basically. something more here but hello beauty nerd thank you thank you thank you thank you so much thank you for subscribing I'm so happy thank you thank you thank you how are you doing
no 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 that that's fine that's fine honestly i i i'm not in this for for the money or stuff it's it's, it's just you know it's a it's an awesome thing uh, to do i mean i basically do it for the channel points so you can you guys can actually uh make me do even more ridiculous stuff than uh, than before now i still need to figure all that all, all of that out in on how i want to fill that in i have ideas i put in at least one but i do want to put in some more uh some more achievements still not here was it then here Wasn't there also, uh... I'm sorry, I'm just exploring now. I, I don't remember everything about this game. Even though I played it over a hundred times, literally. Ah, thank you, beauty. I really appreciate it. Mission here. Oh, trust me, you have done much, much more for me than than you realize. You really did. Now, don't worry, we are gonna get a little bit more enemy variety uh, in a little bit. We are now basically only slashing up these puppets, but there are going to be some more, uh, some more enemies. Dude, how many of these puppets are gonna come here? Oh, there are a few stuck up there. You don't feel well, oh no. You take care of yourself. Itchy eyes are sneezy. Mm. That is not good. Come on, get on top of the fountain, Dante. I know there are orbies. More orbs. Come on. Dude, get on top of the freaking fountain. There we go. Uh, this is where we go later. We need to go over there. So 
So here we grab our first key item. Wait, don't... Wait, shouldn't we grab this? Hold on. I thought we had to grab that. Hmm, okay. Ah, you know, know this game too. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Now here are the most annoying enemies in the game. They just fly through walls and just can be really, really annoying. Yeah, definitely cheats. Hold on, hold on. Let me um, equip the shotgun. Because it is actually a better gun than just our handgun. Especially for, for these ladies. Uh, Virgil, yeah. Or in this game, he is called Nilo Angelo. Uh, but it is Virgil, yeah. Uh, but that is not the dude with the arm. The dude with the arm is Nero. He gets introduced in Devil May Cry 4. Um, and there it is still a little bit vague on who he actually is. Um... Yeah, he is basically, um, you have this game, this is great, Devil May Cry 2, we don't talk about that, it's awful. 3 is like a prequel, so it tells a little bit more about how Virgil and Dante came to be uh, and the relationship they have, a little bit. But it, that is one of the best. Then 4 introduces Nero, which we don't like, but we are basically stuck with him, and who he was we didn't know. Then we got the alternate universe DMC, which was a decent game, but it's just not what we wanted. And then we got back to Devil May Cry 5, which was again a pretty decent game. But it also introduced a new character V, which turned out to be Virgil. And we finally got confirmation that Nero is actually the son of Virgil and blah, 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 blah. And here we just step on the spiders, just because we can. And again, I am gonna go back to this room to see if this is now finally the secret mission. Because it should be. Nope. <laughs> I'm still m misremembering for some reason. Why? Oh, the music is, is great. It's, it's really gothic, uh, you know, and dark. And at some point, it's gonna get really uh, heavy metal. Yeah, three is... To me, one and three are the best. Yeah, don't play two. Just just skip it. It, it. it, I mean, in the later games, some characters return and no one talks about Devil May Cry 2. The characters are not mentioned or anything. Nothing. Just nothing. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, round trip we don't really care about. Air hike is really good. And these are just two devil trigger things we don't need right now. Air rate is good. Vortex is also decent, but I don't really use it. For now, we are just going to get our level one stinger. Because my muscle memory is, is going to kill me if I don't get stinger. Air hike is really, really useful. Yeah. Pilot Lion, blah, blah, blah. Now, why this happens? Why he blasts open this door? I don't know. I mean, basically, this game uh, in its early development cycle was supposed to be a... I believe a Resident Evil game. That's the way uh, development started, basically. But... You know, along the way, they, you know, changed it and it turned into Devil May Cry. So, yeah, Resident Evil. Oh, as a kid, I would sometimes even play through this game like twice a day. That's how much I love this game. So now, basically, we read this text and now we go back. Why? I don't know. But first, we are gonna get uh, dropped by lightning. Yeah, Capcom games. They, back in the day, Capcom was just one of the great. Now, there is also a secret mission down there in the water at some point, I believe. But first, we are going to get our first boss fight against Phantom. Cheater. Just let me jump on your back. Cheater, stop doing that attack, please. Huh. Dick right now. Usually you can stand on his back for like a few attacks. Like that. 
That was uh, what I was trying to do all along. <laughs> Yeah, at some point uh, I could even, you know, uh, basically play through this entire game on Dante Must Die mode without dying a single time. Now again, I am gonna try and figure out if the secret mission is now down here. Yes, finally. So basically we need to kill uh, these ladies with a single shot and if I remember correctly we do that with the shotgun and a devil trigger And that's not what we are supposed to do, I believe. Yeah. How did we do this one again? Hold on. How, how did we do this one again? I don't remember. Again, I don't remember. I'll see you later, Michael. Have fun. Yeah, I thought the shotgun as well. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I remember, I remember now. I believe you need to hit her first so she gets stun locked, uh, you know, behind and then you shoot her. I think. We already filled it, I believe. Nah, this, this is not it. How did you do this thing again? There, there was some kind of trick to it. We are also losing health pretty badly. And basically, you need to get her to get into that stun animation and then a single shot should do it. Hold on, I, I'm, now I'm getting frustrated. Let me look this up real quick. Uh, Devil May Cry, Secret Mission, Critical Hit. How do you do this one? Yeah, in a single hit, the ideal way to do it is to wait until the demon opens its shears in preparation uh, for an attack. Then, right as they are fully spread, strike them with Alistair. If timed correctly, the shear should be knocked back aside. Quickly have Dante step forward until he is touching the scissors. Then take aim with the shotgun and fire a single shot. That should be the way to do it. Bake her a cake, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, let me whoop, do it like this. Sorry. Go down. Oh, 
Come down, please. I want to be able to see you. Nope. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about these yellow orbs. I mean, we are, we are already not going to get a perfect S ranking on this one, so who cares? That was the idea, but I had to stand a little bit closer. Even closer? Holy crap. Dude, how close do you want me to get? I was already right in her face. Huh? How am I misremembering this? Dirty, dirty minded girl. There, that, that should have been it. Why? Ah, why? Hold on, I'm, I'm... With my demon dick. <laughs> Explain to me how you do this. Show me. Just show me. Oh, okay, 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 I got it. I understand now. I understand. Yes, we actually... No, 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 we don't use our vital star. We do use our Devil Trigger, but we actually need to stand within the scissors themselves if she goes back like that. That is apparently like a critical point uh, on which we can attack her, basically. So what we do is we activate our devil trigger. We have her go like that and bitch! Why did you go up against the wall, you stupid, stupid bitch? Oh, come on, you're in the way. Yeah, but that's the thing, you do need to run around her to the other side where she holds the scissors, basically. That's where you need to stand. But if she, you know, hugs the wall, then there's no way I can reach that point.
like that, and then something like that. Let's do a practice run. Can we do that. Okay, I think I'm just gonna leave this one for now. Because this is really starting to frustrate, frustrate me. Let's just move on. Uh, we need to be on the other side. Okay, so I guess we are gonna do one more try. Even though we are almost dead. And yes, we are losing health because we are underwater. Dude, why didn't you shoot? I told you to shoot. You stupid, stupid man. I mean, that's basically the idea. Yeah, let, let's just go. Yeah, I don't care about the rank. Now here there is a secret mission. Yes, okay. Basically there are gonna be a lot of those baby spiders and we just need to kill a hundred of them. Which is trickier than it might seem. Yeah, and we also filled this one. I'm still not convinced on whether it is faster to only run over them or to actually use your sword. get stuck on the terrain oh and the camera can be really obnoxious sometimes uh, I'm not sure yet I don't have any ideas for, for emotes right now. Okay, that's a good start. One more, one more. There we go. Okay. Ooh, what is some foam? Oh, nice. Now, for completing a secret mission, you basically get a piece of a blue orb. And was there something in here? 
Nope, just another... Some of those stupid biatches. Uh, now this is a fun part. Because... Phantom is gonna go chase us. Now usually we need to run all the way to the other side. Or we can just go into this door. Usually you, you're supposed to run all the way to the back of the hall. To the room there. And go out. But you can also just take the door right there. And just skip the whole fight. And now he's gone. You know, and apparently he ran through here, broke all of these pillars, but we didn't get to see that. <laughs> Ugh, I hate those scissor sisters. Now here we have another secret mission, Baby Phantom 2. Or Phantom Baby 2. And here we need to do exactly the same thing. Just kill a hundred of them. And I did really, really bad for some reason. <laughs> Vietnamese curry for lunch? It's a hefty lunch. There, here it seems to work better to just run on top of them for some reason. Come on, almost there. Nope, failed it. At least we are gonna get we are getting some red orbs out of it. Almost there we go. Much easier. Yes, orbs! There are a lot of orbs in this game. Um, I thought there was also a secret mission in that room, but... Maybe later. Uh, is this the way we go? Hold on, what, what did you actually grab? Oh no, wait, we need to go to the, to the, to the fountain again. Derp. That is actually where we need to go. We get to fight our first shadow. <laughs> Thank you. This is where we actually need to go. Because now we have the lion tablet, basically, so we can now unleash the lion. Huh. There. And this is Shadow. Just a enemy, but a very, very annoying one. The reason I'm shooting him is because we need to make him vulnerable like that. And then we can actually attack him. Okay. 
there, and I believe that one hit was already enough for him to die. So basically, he is now red, and he is gonna slap us about. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, the idea of this one is to not uh, make it as uh, normal as this one can be when it comes to uh, the FMK. Uh, the idea is to make it weird, you know, think outside the box. You know, Brie Larson, Natalie Portman, Gal Gadot was a good one, but you can get weird with it. You know, stuff like, um, you know, go with stuff like, uh, you know, Santa Claus, Santa Claus and uh, the Eastern Bunny. Something like that. You know, or think even weirder than that and go with like uh, colors, uh, red, blue and yellow. You know, stuff like that. Get really, really weird and out, out of the box with, uh, with this stuff. You, you just make up something stupid and make me you know rank those three things basically you know uh, maybe the numbers one two and three something like that i don't know come up with some some weird ass things okay um crank from turtles tinky winky and durable um <laughs> Uh, wow, okay, um, wow, <laughs> thank you, Durable, this is exactly what I mean, um, wow, uh, let me think, I think I would say we would kill Krang, simply because he is an evil mastermind, then i would uh i would fornicate with uh tinky winky just to get it over with and then i would marry durable because he's my buddy yeah that's the one i'm going with <laughs> you would actually fuck krang uh yeah not me <laughs> Uh, that is our attack button. Susan Boyle, I do believe I know who that is, yes. It's, uh, you know, one of those uh, typically British uh, women. Um, let's see, there's something on top of here, I believe. Yes. And uh, now we stick our sword into this statue. And now we get introduced to our twin brother, sort of. I mean, this is basically Virgil, but he is not called Virgil. He's called Nilo Angelo. And our brother does not look as similar to us as this.
This stinking hole was the last place I thought I'd find anyone with some guts. Now look at him standing there like, come on, bitch. I mean, you were the one running away. running away and yeah again the music is so great yep. uh, there. come on no don't jump down <laughs> you stupid stupid ass Don't jump down! <laughs> this is not Lego Star Wars, come on! <laughs> oh. Come on, just get up. There we go. And that is the first fight with Virgil. Let's just call him Virgil, we know who he is. <laughs> Hello, Plot Necklace. We just happened to pop out at that particular moment. Decent, decent. Now we are now gonna move on to the shortest mission in the game. Uh, let's see, how many orbs did we have? Uh, yeah, let, let's wait on that. Let's first get air hike and then stinger level two. Basically, we now have a key item which makes us lose uh, health, basically. But we first need to fight off this. Now, I do believe for him, uh, actually, our handguns are ebony and ivory. That's what they are called. Are a little bit better to actually fight him with. I believe he is already dead, so we can move along. Wait, he's not dead? He should be. Yeah, see, he's dead. Yep. 
No, 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 don't jump down. This isn't Star Wars. Come on. Yeah, I don't care about the orbs. There. Now there is also something to collect up there. But getting there is really, really tricky. And basically you need air hike to do that jump reliably. So I'm gonna leave it for now. So basically this mission, we just fought Shadow. We jump all the way down here. We put the key item we just got in the door. And that's the end of the mission. That's all there is to it. it it's, it's stupid how, how short this mission is. Yeah, GG. <laughs> now, was there a secret mission back there? I don't know. I, re I really don't remember them all. But we do have a blue orb fragment at least. Uh, I do believe we go in here first. I don't really like this part. I like the, you know, everything in, in the castle itself a lot more. Oh, beetles. Oh. Yeah, we are just gonna do this the easy way with our devil trigger and just shoot them all to bits. Describe it. What, what are you talking about? Eggnog type thing? Creamy with milk and eggnog. Similar to baby. Oh, I was thinking that you meant Bailey's, but... Sure, 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 sure. Only 9% alcohol. I really don't know what you're talking about. find or we need to find one of those yeah one of those basically an upgraded version of those annoying flying ladies with the scissors I mean he's just gonna run through the ceiling, the floor, the walls, everything is just so freaking annoying. Okay, 
And there's basically just no real reliable way of dodging him. God, ugh. That's disgusting. Also, God really is disgusting. If you ask me, I don't like it. So now we do have enough for our air hike, finally. Are basically in the middle of the air double jump like that and here we have phantom again now we could find him we could actually quote-unquote kill him here but there's no need we just need to go I do believe there is a secret mission right here. Yes. And this is another stupid one. Basically, you need to have these, you know, mini, quote unquote, semi phantoms uh, basically kill each other with their attacks. It's annoying. Stop jumping! I'm the one who's supposed to jump, not you. Yeah, with that attack. That is basically how they need to kill each other. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go. I hate this one. I really, really hate this one. It's just not a fun secret mission. It's just annoying. I am gonna see if there were some green orbs back here. Back here. Because I am almost dead. Uh, no. Holy crap. Oh, and I actually need to beat them? No. Okay, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, I know Devil Trigger gives you, uh, you know, a little bit of, you know, regen on your health, but it, it is, it's almost nothing, basically. Yeah, but it is so small, it's, it's almost insignificant. I just hate these freaking enemies. This is where we need to go and we pop in our key right here yeah i know i screwed this this level up basically but that's okay yeah sure thing gerbil
Wait, wasn't there something to collect here? Hold on. I thought there was also a blue orb here, but apparently not. Oh, maybe that was after the fight. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I mean, first we need to kill uh, Phantom for good this time. Running away, you cowardly bitch! No shit. Yeah, well, I'm not. I'm his son, Dante. Exactly. Ponche Cuba? I have heard of that before, but I don't think I've ever had it. Incredible power. Oh. Incredible camera angle. Yeah, see, there is the blue orb I was looking for. Uh, no. We don't go down here just yet. Go up. Go back up. Uh, how did we get there? How did we actually get up there? Can we just make it like that? No, don't go down. Stupid ass. Need to stand on your horse's ass. There. There we go. I do think there were also some extra red orbs here to collect. Or you could just do it like that. Okay. <laughs> don't remember exactly if and where so let's just move on so we finally lowered the drawbridge and now we can actually progress outside of the castle basically And he's holding a grenade gun. Also a decent weapon, but honestly, this game is basically built for 
um, the close combat and not so much for your guns, for your ranged weapons. So we put in the trident we just found. And that makes... Yeah, this gate go up, but it is on a timer. So we do need to somewhat hurry. And there's nothing really else. Nothing else really for us there. Now I am just gonna see if I can actually find that secret mission which is supposed to be in this room. Just a peek, if it is actually there. No, it isn't. Okay. I thought there was also one there with with the the puppets. Uh, you know, you have to do something with the puppets, uh, defeating them in a certain time frame or stuff like that. Wow, Darth Batman is really indecisive in what game he wants to play. <laughs> So yeah, let's actually go down and go through the gate over the drawbridge out of the castle. Was there also something in the water here? Nope, maybe on the other side. Yes, there was. But really, I got like... Eight pop-ups uh, off of Steam that he was playing either Tabletop Simulator or Rust. Like it was kipping back and forth between those two. So here we are gonna get our new weapon, which is called Ifrit, I believe. I think so. So some red orbs somewhere up on these pillars, I believe. Or on each and every pillar, yeah, I see. Come on. Uh -huh. And I believe this one has some as well. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Now we do have enough for our Stinger level 2, which is good. It basically uh, makes it that we can actually glide uh, quite a, a distance forward with our Stinger attack, which is good. It's basically going to help us uh, keep up our, our combo uh, a little bit easier. I've already used two, which is two more than I usually use. The punch Koopa, what the fuck is that? <laughs> um, now there was also a way to cheese this part. Um, 
Oh, wait, what? I cannot cheese it. Basically, uh, what we have to do is you see this door with uh, one flame on the left. We basically need to create a flame on the right and then the door opens. If you do a new game plus run, you already have Ifrit. So you can just hit this one and just go through. And then that's the end of the mission. That's the way you can cheese this and basically skip a boss fight. Uh, what was this again? I believe this was an exit at some point. Yeah, we come through here uh, at some other point. Now, holy water is actually a useful item. It does a big AoE uh, damage attack, basically, if you use one. Poncha Cuba looks like a desert? What? Now these devil stars basically make it so that our devil trigger gets filled up immediately. But it's not really all that useful for now because we only have a small devil trigger. If you buy uh, purple orbs in the shop then you can, you know, make your devil trigger uh, gauge bigger. We are now have three and you can go up to eight or something, I believe. Now this is an annoying part because now we need to platform our way up towards towards Ifrit, basically. Okay, saved it. And wow, first try. Okay, I would not, I did not expect that. <laughs> like I said, usually I cheese this and I don't do this part. I just go immediately through the door and be done with it. Yeah, my name is Ifrit, we know. Basically, this is not a sword weapon. This is a punch and kick weapon. And the idea is that Alistair is a uh, electric weapon which is useful against ghost or a scorpion or a well, phantom which is an, uh, a fire enemy. And now that we have a fire weapon we are gonna fight a electric enemy. Now, to be honest, I don't really use Ifrit all that often. I prefer Alistair, so I'm not all that well... Uh, I'm not all that well... Not that familiar with uh, Ifrit is uh, its attack patterns, basically. I do wonder if there is some sort of like manual for this stuff. I don't believe so. At least not in game. No, never mind. We'll just, uh, you know, try it. Hold on, hold on, I'm, I'm ignoring something, yes. I thought you were just talking. Um, wow. MTR, Tinas and John. Ooh. Um. Wow, okay, we are getting weird in this. And Tinas and John. Um, wow! I think... 
I think, I think, I think I would... I would bang MTR. Because I have no idea how Tinas and John look. And with MTR I at least have some idea. And he is, you know, a, you know, a bodybuilder, so he at least looks good. So I'm gonna bang MTR. And I think I'm gonna marry John. Simply because I can laugh a lot with that guy. <laughs> He's just a lot of fun to hang around with. And I'm sorry, Tinas, but that means you are... <coughs> you are dead. So, yeah. <laughs> I think that that's gonna be the case. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good answer, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's the one I'm gonna stick with for now. <laughs> You'd marry MTR. <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> oh, okay, um, yeah, I'm playing a video game. Now the annoying part about uh, now having to use Ifrit on uh, Griffin, this enemy or this boss is called Griffin, is the fact that I don't have my double jump anymore. Basically, I only can use the, the air hike when I'm actually using uh, using Alistair. And as you can see, hitting Griffin is kind of difficult. Especially if he keeps jumping around. Stop jumping around, you piece of poo! Could have fallen even further back, piece of shit bird. Hold on, I'm doing a boss fight right now. The reason we got Ifrit, in fact, is just to turn this on and move through. Um, if you kept John alive, he would figure out who you killed. <laughs> I didn't kill anyone. I'm the one who's getting killed every time. Uh, bon appetit, uh, beauty. Hope you enjoy your foe. I'm the one getting killed. I didn't kill anyone. I only got imposter once. 
<laughs> yes, I'm not gonna let that go. <laughs> Hydrate, thank you. I am gonna make that a channel point redemption thing. But today they are free, I think. I just hadn't had the time to put them in just yet. I do believe there is also something up here. Yes, there is. If I can actually get to it. There. Another holy water. Oh, you can make me uh, answer a lot of stupid questions. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> you know, and make, uh, you know, make me say stupid things to my friends and, you know, insult them by only wanting to screw with them and not marry them, even though I'm not even gay, but sure. <laughs> so wanting to actually Fuck them would be a compliment, I think. Considering the fact that I'm not gay. I think. <laughs> I don't know how that works. Oh, I would, I would fuck the shit out of you, but that's the thing. The, the question wasn't about you, it was about MTR. <laughs> It is a compliment, okay. <laughs> good, good. I think so. I think you are a little bit too high maintenance. I mean, don't get me wrong, I spoil my partner. I, 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 I actually do. But... I don't know, the way you've been talking, like, I... You know, I need my man to do this, I want my man to do this, and... You know, stuff like that. It's, it's, at some point I'm gonna go like, shut up. Shut up. And that is going to be the end of, of that, <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, I mean, business class. Yeah, no, I, I may be a doctor, but I don't make the money to fly business class. I really don't. I wish I did, but no, that is just, that is just not true. No, we, we definitely don't earn enough money. I mean, maybe at some point, I mean, I am affiliate now. I'm going to make the real big bucks, of course. I don't even know what Scott does for uh, Scott does for a living. Things with medicine. Okay, sure. <laughs> Very descriptive. Also, love this song, by the way.
Oh, come on. Dude, how many of them are gonna spawn? Oh, wait, we, this is a red orb door again, I remember. So basically we don't even need to fight these. Sugar Mama. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope it really does work out for you, Beauty. I really do. With whomever it is you are dating. <laughs> you already said he would pay for your ticket. Okay. <laughs> PS5, please. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, I'm gonna first buy a PS5 for myself. Thank you. Now, we don't even actually need to find them. Basically, we need to follow this light through this quote-unquote maze. And he's actually gonna go the other way. Now he's gonna go into the enemies. I mean, at some point he is gonna skip the enemies and just go the way he wants to. And he's actually gonna go this way. Basically, we need to do this screen three times and follow the light uh, in the direction he is going. That is all we need to do. If... Hold on, let's... Let's switch our weapon to the shotgun. No, wait, let's actually make it a grenade gun. Maybe that's the one we can use for the secret mission then. And our light went to the left. Or is it in you? I mean, it is killing them in a single shot, so maybe this is the way to do that secret mission. the light go into this enemy or did it go to the left I couldn't see Yeah, it is a pretty easy maze. It's just keeping track of where the light actually is going. Because sometimes it just... Yeah, this is exactly what I mean. I don't know which way it went. I think it went to the left, but I'm not sure. I mean, I at least didn't see it go to the right, but... Yeah, I believe this is the correct way. Yes, okay. Now here we again have those semi-phantoms, basically. Which are annoying. There we 
we go. And the other one. And I believe we are coming up on our second Nilo Angelo, aka Virgil fight. I think. Yes, it is. Um, let's see if there's anything else. I mean, round trip, I really don't care about. Air raid is at least somewhat useful in our devil, devil trigger mode. Vortex, not so much. Um, I'd rather buy like a few upgrades. Um, yeah, Magma Drive is maybe something to go for. Kick is Rolling Blaze, not so much. Meteor is Inferno. Man, I don't really like Ifrit all that much as a weapon. I basically only use it for the, uh, for the Griffin fights. Orbs. Thank you. Basically, these are my favorite enemies to fight because they are e the easiest ones to get your combo meter up re real quick and real easy. Dude, you annoying piece of poo. I believe there was also something up here. If... He would just leave me alone for one second. Yeah, see? It's such an annoying enemy. Again, the higher your combo meter is, the more orbs you collect from killing uh, killing your enemies. Now, there is also a blue orb, I believe, to collect here somewhere. I believe it's down here. Yep. Okay. Was there also something up here? Uh, green orb, sure. Now, if you have full health and you collect a green ore, basically you get just some red ores. Oh, and he almost helped me up there. <laughs> yeah, there's still a bunch of red orbs. I don't really care about collecting all of them. Uh, and I believe we need to go through the upper door. So we first go over here. No? 
Oh, no. Wait, we first need to go... Hold on. No. There. I want to grab that one. I'm going to leave that green orb because we are going to do a boss fight in here. So we'll leave it for if we actually need it. Yeah, this chalice needs to, or this cup needs to be put on top there uh, where we just were. I thought it was the other way around, but... Yeah. Yeah, we are first gonna fight Virgil again. This is basically the air raid attack we just bought. Well, as you can see, he has a bit more moves, which are basically copies of the Ifrit. So he has some more punching and kicking attacks. He has this uh, fireball attack, basically. Which are all, uh, you know, things we can actually do ourselves with Ifrit. Stop it! There we go. Yeah, sure. They, uh, go take a shower. See you back in a minute. I am gonna warm up some pizza in the oven uh, a little later on. go now let's grab the green orb just to be safe even though we are already at the end of this mission yeah, basically the quote-unquote puzzle mechanics in this game aren't really all that difficult it's just you know going from room to room. Exactly four hours, yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> yeah. Mom is cooking, what is she cooking? Mom's cooking is always the best. Now we are gonna get underwater controls, which are the worst. The very, very worst. They are just completely annoying and useless in this game. It's just another mechanic which basically they could have just, you know, pulled out, if you ask me. I don't really like the, the underwater mechanics. I do believe there is an extra item to be found around here somewhere. I thought. But I don't remember where exactly. Maybe it's on the other end. I don't know. Curry. Nice. Or at least I hope it's nice. Nice. 
yeah, like I said, really useless swimming mechanics in this game for some reason. Because I do believe, yeah, that's it. There was our underwater weapon, basically. Yeah, uh, where are you then? Oh, there. Now there is some... Stuff to collect underneath the water. I don't remember where exactly. And it's not just a few random red orbs. Although it does look like it is just some random red orbs around here. Maybe it was back in the first area. Give me the orbs. There we go. Maybe it was underwater here. Oh, the enemy is of course behind us. Because I thought there was also like a blue orb or something. Or maybe that's on the other half of the underwater part of this ship. Yeah, I think so. No, I'm not gonna fight you a third time, guys. Get out of here. And here there is... There are some red orbs to collect, I believe. But also somewhere there is either a blue orb or a red orb. And I believe it is on the other side, on the other mass on the right. Because basically that's the only part where there isn't a red orb. So you think there would be something else there. Let's see. There isn't? Wow. I thought there really was. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Where, where was that blue orb then? I do believe there was a blue orb to collect here. Was it up here? Nope. Where was it? Okay, so those were the extra red orbs. But I thought there was a blue orb here. Or at least, you know, a blue piece of orb. But apparently I'm misremembering a lot about this game. So let's just move on. Jump down. There we go. 
And now we have to fight another one of those annoying ghost thingies. Let me go. There we go. So, and now we actually get into our Griffin fight again, I believe. Wait, what? Oh, the expression. Oh, okay. So we are gonna change our weapons back to our handgun for now. Please stop doing this. Come on. There we go. Easy fight, easy fight. Easy does it. Next mission. Just get out of the ship. Just get out. Uh, now, I don't believe there was anything more to collect here. Sudden, we're swimming again. For some reason, the ship sank. Why? I don't know. <laughs> because we grabbed the staff of Poseidon. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, so let's actually move on.
enemies. We don't really need to kill them. We can just go past them, but let's kill them because they're annoying. Or because, you know, other water is annoying. I still thought there was a blue orb here. But, I don't know, guess not. And that was the entire mission. We actually got an S rank on that, sure. Apparently we did something right. Um, let's see. Was it here there was an extra item? Yeah, finally, there's the blue orb I was looking for. I knew there was one. Oh, finally. Hold on, I want to go back to my... Grim no, not the needle gun, the grenade launcher. Basically, we are now just making our way back uh, towards the castle. So we go over here. And we go all the way around. You can already see all the miserable stuff that is going to come our way. And we grab this shield. And now we can grab the blue and red shield, which were on the sides of the Colosseum. Yeah, yeah, we activated the booby trap. Luckily, we have air hike to make this go a little bit faster. There. Here there are also some extra items to collect, like a blue orb, which makes again four. But there is also a holy water to collect somewhere along here, I believe in the water here. Yep. And then we also want to go up all the way. Hello. Come on. Over there. Because there's also something to collect up here. I believe. Yes, it's a yellow wall. Not all that exciting, but still. I believe that was all there was to collect. Now here there is another uh, shadow. Uh, there are more than one shadows, but we are just gonna skip them. Bye. Hold on, wait, no, 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 no. We are not gonna skip them just yet. Because I do believe there was also something here to collect. If we go through here. I don't remember what it was exactly. Oh, it was just a red or pillar. So 
So now we are just gonna skip. Oh, and there was a blue orb right here. Okay. Good to know. So, but we are now just gonna move along. We are gonna... Nope, we are gonna skip you because we only need 200 red orbs here. Goodbye, shadows. I believe we can also skip this part, but there... Again, I believe there are also some items to collect here, so we are gonna get rid of these enemies first. Yeah, see, there is something here. Okay. And was there more? I don't believe so. Or there was something behind here. Nope, there's not. Uh, okay. You feel so much better. Good, 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 beauty. Very good. Now just a shit. Oh, shit on. <laughs> I thought you meant to shit on. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. And another S rank. Alright, doing good. Doing good. We are making some decent progress in, uh, in this game for now. Um, let's at least buy the magma drive, the level one kick and level one meteor. It's at least something. We don't really need Vortex, so let's just buy another purple orb and yeah, let's do another purple orb. Okay, we have another Bang Mary kill. Someone who is a LARPer, someone who is a furry, and someone with a foot fetish. Ooh, um. First of all, I'm gonna kill furries. Because that's just an abomination. <laughs> to each their own. To each their own. But I don't know. That is getting a little bit too much out there. I don't wanna get near stuff like that. So I'm not gonna marry or bang someone who is a furry. So that's gonna be a kill. Well, I think I would bang the LARPer because a LARPer can get into some freaky shit in their mind, I think. So you can get into some, some decent role playing. So to fool around with that a little bit might be fun. So I would say bang the LARPer and then, yeah, the foot fetish, you know, I'll see that as, as something that my partner would then be able to, you know, take care of my feet. I don't know. <laughs> you would actually bang the furry. No, not me. <laughs> nope. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> nope, not gonna happen. Just not gonna happen. I do believe I can actually just skip these enemies if I want to, and I do want to. Now I don't remember if we need to go to red or blue first. Let's just go into the red one. 
Yeah, red one first is fine. Or, in fact, that is the correct one to do. Because we have this Luminite. It's basically just a flashlight. It's gonna light up the room, you know, the dark places a little bit more. Basically, when we get back to the castle, everything is gonna be a lot darker. And without this, we wouldn't be able to see shit. Obviously, this is a secret wall. A not so secret secret wall. With another yellow orb. These are just uh, platforms we are gonna move down in order for us to get across. Nothing all that exciting, but we do need them. Or we could use our Devil Trigger to fly, but that's just a waste of a de Devil Trigger if you ask me. I do believe this is actually the only thing we need in order to get into the Colosseum, but I'm not sure. Huh. And what was here again? Was there something here again? I don't remember. So we are gonna go. Yep. Yeah, I do believe this was already enough to go into the Colosseum, but we are gonna check out the other side as well. Was there a blue orb up here, maybe? No? Okay. Forget I even ask. We hate you, we know. Yeah, because this is already dark here. And oh, you could get a Luminite here as well. Hmm. I thought it was only on one side. No, 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 I hate that attack. It's basically an unblockable attack. So here we have a secret, not so secret ball as well. With a blue orb we saw. There, blue orb. Oh, and the holy water. Always nice. I really don't remember what was actually here. And if we even needed to go here for something? What is this? Ah, this is the Nightmare God. That's it. It looks weird and I'm not gonna use it. It is, I think, a somewhat decent weapon, but... I don't know. Hold on, I first want to get myself to safety out of this gauntlet of stupid enemies. Um, 
are stressed out because of the fireworks. I haven't heard any fireworks here yet. Not any. I mean, basically, uh, I don't know if you know Durable, but uh, fireworks is forbidden uh, this year. Here in the Netherlands, we are not allowed to... Uh, to do fireworks, uh, you know, ourselves, basically. Ongoing all day, wow. Well, I uh, really, I mean, sometimes during, you know, during the year I, I hear, you know, very loud bangs, you know, just basically homemade bombs. But actual fireworks today, I haven't heard any yet. So here we have our third and final uh, fight with Griffin. Where are you, you stupid bird? There you are. Oh, wait, we need to switch to our handguns. Can I please look at you? Because I don't know what you're doing. Where are you? Holy crap, where are you? I cannot see you. Dude. Dude, this is cheating. This is just plain cheating. Where the hell are you? Okay, I'm just gonna go up. Dude, I said I'm gonna go up. At least there's another green orb over here. There we go. <laughs> yeah. LARP stands for Live Action Role Playing. Dude. You hit me with almost every single one of those. and just die. There we go. <laughs> You're not the one who needs to suck him though. Oh. You can't fight with that wound. 
mighty is the power of Mundus. Masters, grant me one last surge of power. The power to finish him. How? Huh? How? Huh? How? Huh? What? So yeah, who wants some chicken? Hold on, after the after the cutscene. Maybe it was too easy for you. Mundus. Mundus. His heinous ways make me sick. Kill uh. even his own, like there were nothing. <laughs> He's the one that took the life of my mother, my brother, I'm sure. Oh, the acting. Oh. My mother used to always tell me that my father was a man who fought for the people. He had courage and a righteous heart. In the name of my father, I will kill Mundus. Ha! Okay, um... Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Uh, wow. Um... Um... First of all, kill Sora! I freaking hate Sora! There, I said it. I don't think Sora is that interesting of a character. I really, really hate him. Um, then, between um, Donald and Goofy, I would... Um, no, I would bang Donald. Because look at that ass. He has a humongous ass i mean that would be something i think and then i'd marry goofy because he's a sweetheart exactly he he's dtf I do believe if we go back in right again, we have a secret mission. Yes, Stairway of Tranquility. Basically, we need to get uh, to the top of this stairway by jumping on the heads of these skulls. Which is actually quite difficult. Especially since you don't have control over your camera angle. So I'm gonna try and turn around the camera and I'm even trying to turn around my neck <laughs> trying to do this okay let's try again oh almost 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 I was there. I was there. There we go. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'm still feeling good. I mean, I do need to eat at some point. But we are already so far into the game. I feel like finishing it. But it, that is going to take some time still. Uh, till midnight? No, no, no. I, I mean, beauty is gonna start uh, start in uh, an hour and a half. So, oh, 
Oh, you, you, can, you can take a nap, that, that's fine. I mean, like, like I said, I don't know how long I'm gonna continue for, but if you're gonna start at 8, then that is, you know, by far the, the max time that I'm gonna go for. Yeah, I'll definitely uh, see you later. Hey, Cacti, how are you? He just woke up. <laughs> what time is it now over there? On your on your end. Ten thirty. Wow. No, uh, I, I shouldn't complain. I all, all also wait, woke up like you know at leave at least all, uh, after ten. Yeah, see, there was something to collect here. So we have another HP upgrade. Now, wasn't there another one? No, that the one that one we already got in the beginning. Here we fight a electric doppelganger, I believe. Well, he looks like a bat now, but he, he is gonna turn into a doppelganger. There. So let's just change to Ifrit real quick. And just. Uh, Shoot him out of the sky. There we go. Easy peasy. And I believe we can just skip you. Bye-bye. You haven't seen any uh, Devil May Cry gameplay. Well, this is already like two-thirds into the game, so... I don't know if this is the best starting point. <laughs> um, give me back my grenade gun. Basically, um... There is an evil god that wants to resurface and we are trying to stop him. Easy enough. And we are just going on fetch quest after fetch quest to get all these key items to... To do that, basically. You know, we're, we are fighting these enemies, we are fighting bosses and... Eventually we are gonna go down to hell in order to fight him. Yeah, we are actually gonna go into hell. Which is fun. But first we are gonna need to fight against Nightmare. And we are gonna cheat a little bit. There. Blah, 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 blah. There's a pool here and there is some green sludge. And we are gonna fight that. That is Nightmare. And basically the way this fight works is... You need to hit those uh, wall panels. In order for him to become... Uh, to become solid like this. And then we need to wait for this orb to come out.
Um, now these wall panels are gonna uh, cool down really quickly. There is a way to uh, make that go a little slower. Uh, but that means we need to do a whole, a whole alternate fight, basically. Yeah, now he's just being a poopy pants. Now there is a whole part where he can like suck you into his goo and then you have to, depending on uh, which time you find him, you get into like a big arena where you um, uh, can either fight uh, Phantom, Griffin or, uh, or Virgil. You know, the first time you fight him it's... Uh, Uh, what do you say? It's Phantom. Oh, screwed up there. The second time it is uh, Griffin and the third time it's Virgil. So we are fighting Nightmare three times. This was the first time. Obviously. two ways we can go but basically there is only one correct way to go from here. Okay, there are these two paintings we can go into but one of them is the actual way to go. And I do, do believe the right one is the way to go so we are gonna go left first. Nope, other way around. <laughs> well it doesn't really matter we eventually come back here and go into the other one. So it's fine. I just thought we, we might explore a little bit, but. Now this is gonna be the third and final fight with Virgil. And this is, if you ask me, the hardest fight in the game. There was nothing else here. I don't really care about the red orbs anymore. We already have basically all we need basically all that i want to have at this point again two paintings two ways to go but now only one opens so there's only one way to go and nope no no we were already on alistair that's good But yeah, every area here is just an arena fight, so... Now we need to fight these ice thingies. Whatever they are. They are at least very annoying. Wow, I heard actually some fireworks, yes! The first fireworks I've heard all day. Uh, just to clarify, Cacti, um, fireworks is uh, prohibited this year in the Netherlands. And it might actually be prohibited forever. You know, they did that now because of COVID. Because 
COVID, yeah, of course. To basically, um, you know, have people stay indoors, don't go outside, don't meet other people, you know, stuff like that. That is the reason they now say that it is prohibited, but the government has already been trying to get this through uh, for a few years now. And basically, they now use this as sort of a scapegoat to actually, you know, to actually do it. Yeah, well, we, many, many years uh, back, we actually had a huge, huge disaster uh, when it comes to uh, fireworks. Uh, not so much because of people using it, but because of a, uh, a storage uh, place where there was a lot of fireworks. There, there just went something wrong and, you know, it all just blew up, basically. It was horrible really really horrible but yet it didn't get prohibited uh, back then and here we are fighting a you know a t-rex of sorts basically we just need to hit his fireballs back at him that's all we need to do three times i believe Yep. Uh, there, and now we need to turn around. Da -da 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 -da. They are just prohibited in, an, in just by in general. Okay. Now, basically. Fireworks are uh, are not allowed to uh, be used by individuals, um, except on uh, you know New Year's Eve. Usually, then uh, basically I'm jumping on you know these invisible platforms. Uh, basically, on New Year's Eve between uh, ten o'clock in the morning and two or three o'clock at night, I believe uh, you were allowed to actually um, to fire off your own fireworks yeah I'm just gonna move bye guys bye 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 yeah I mean it is prohibited now here as well but apparently especially at La Riesa's there is a lot of fireworks being shoot off right now the, just a few minutes ago was the first bang I actually heard all day There, and now we are we are gonna get somewhat of a revelation that this is not Nilo Angelo, this is actually Virgil, but it doesn't really spit it out all that like well. That. But it's a shame you serve Mundus. I mean, basically, you get somewhat of an explanation after the fight, but... Here, now he looks actually like, or at least kind of like the Virgil we know from the other games. Oh, your name it use fireworks. <laughs> Yeah, I, I wish it wasn't prohibited. I, I really like it. You know, not to really fire it off myself, but just, you know, the... You know, the people, you know, having fun, you know, the, the lights, the colors, the sound, the smell. I, I just really like fireworks. I mean, it's a waste of money, if you ask me, but still. Dude, stop hitting me. Oh no, not this attack. This is gonna screw me. 
This is really gonna screw me. Whew, okay. No! I don't like this attack. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Okay, okay, okay. No, don't do it again. Please. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Come on. So close. Come on. Yeah, this is basically the hardest fight in the game. And this isn't really all that hard. This is still on normal difficulty. This is pretty easy, to be honest. There, that already went a lot better. Ah, uh, now you are still gonna go up there, you piece of poo. Much easier, much easier. This is how it should have went the first time. Like I said, this isn't all that hard of a fight. I was just screwing up. Uh... Yeah, no, trust me, this, this is easy. Uh, there are three difficulty levels and this is the... Well, there are four. There is also an easy one. This is normal, there is hard, and there is Dante must die. And now we're now just playing on normal. It's not all that difficult. Now this is basically the same amulet we have and this is the explanation we get to this being Virgil and our twin brother. That's all the explanation you're, you're gonna get, basically. Trish, Virgil has been defeated. Plot twist, she actually was evil. <laughs> we knew. Come on. Don't make it more than it is. We already knew. Um, now we can buy some more blue orbs just to be safe. Just to give us a little bit more health. Now the stupid thing is, now that we have the full pendant, or the full amulet, we get a new weapon. Which is awesome. I mean, look at it. It's a giant sword of flesh. Look at this thing. It is Freaking amazing! However, we are not gonna use it because it has no devil trigger. And that makes it an awful, awful weapon to use. So we are. Please, can I choose my weapon? We are just gonna go back to Alistair, simply because it is better to use. Yeah, I know, that sword is so freaking amazing. It's really, really awesome. It's just sad that it is actually not that great of a weapon. Simply because it has no devil trigger. 
Um, Was there something of a blue orb to collect on this part? I do believe so. And if this is making you nauseous, yeah, uh, me too. This is just an awful, awful mechanic in this game. There, that's the blue orb I was looking for. Basically, it has this like fish eye mechanic or something. You know, making everything go swirly and stuff. It's 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 not not good. You know, at least we can kill these ladies fairly quickly with our underwater gun. That is a good thing. Yeah, exactly. It, it's it's just not great. I mean, we are done now with the underwater part, so you can look again. <laughs> I don't believe this does anything. Oh, it. Oh, come on. I thought we were done with the underwater crap. Yeah, it's really, really unpleasant. So now we got the Philosopher's Egg. I honestly don't remember what we do with it. I mean, do we go into that red door or do we go up here? Oh, up here is no door anymore. Okay. Then we are just going to go into the red door. Because that is basically the only way we can go right now. Do we put the Philosopher's Egg in right there? I believe so. Yep. And we have another Nightmare fight. Yeah, just leave me alone. I want to attack this piece of poop. Let me go, let me go, let me go. I wanna hit this thing. Yep. Stop it, please, would you nightmare? Nope, nope, nope. Hold on, totally missed. going pretty bad. Dude! This is going horrible. Uh, maybe we need to actually do go into the alternate fight for this one. Just to be a little bit safe. Even though we are really close to finishing this fight, actually. But I know there are some green orbs in the, in the in this part. Or at least I believe there is at least some green orbs to collect. Yeah, see? This is basically inside of Nightmare. First we need to kill all these regular skulls, then the the red skull is basically gonna come for us and when we finish that, that bird on the other end there that is now black is gonna come to life. Oh that's fine durable, no no worries. Come on, get down here. 
come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just come here. Let me kill you. Let me kill you. Please. There. Now this one is gonna come alive. He's a little bit more aggressive. And then we are gonna fight Griffin again. Oh, and we need to switch to our handguns for this one. Pay attention, pay attention, pay attention, dude. Okay. So now that we fought off this part, uh, this also does damage the nightmare, so we might actually win instantaneously. Nope, not yet. Now this also makes it so that the wall thing is now going to count down a lot, a lot slower. So Nightmare is going to stay a little bit more vulnerable, you know, a little longer, but it doesn't really matter. We already finished it. Yeah, no, it, it's fine, Durable. Hope you, uh, hope you had a good chat with them. So yeah, now we have Elixir, and that is basically gonna go allow us, I believe, to enter into hell. Yes, we are now entering hell. So we are back at the double painting here. So we are going to go back to the other double painting, I believe, right now. And go the other way. Oh, not here. We need to go down more. I have two sisters. Two. Two older sisters and no brothers. That's my lot in life. Yeah, I wish I had a brother. You know, either older or younger. You know, I just wish I had a brother, but you know, I don't, so. You have two brothers, no sisters. So yeah, you are completely reversed of my uh, my situation. One brother and two sisters, all older. So you're the youngest one, just like me. The Benjamin. It is the Philosopher's Stone that is gonna let us into hell also. Fine. Yeah, these guys are freaking annoying, especially when they put on a mask. They can leave like these small bombs everywhere and just they jump all over the place. They're just annoying. I mean, it's it's even difficult just to hit them, let alone to actually hurt them enough to actually make them die. Oh, 
Okay, I believe he is dead. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we are all the youngest. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Maybe that's why we get along so well. Because we all know the the hardships and the pain of being the youngest one. Or something like that. <laughs> Now there is a way to get that blue orb, but I honestly don't know what it is. I don't remember. I believe it is something like that, only, only then in the right direction, but I'm not gonna, gonna bang my head over it. I'm just gonna move on. Yeah, basically. <laughs> well, I had two older sisters, so I didn't get all that much Noggies, just more um, um, dress-ups to make me look like a girl. That was the, you know, the, the fun thing for my sisters to do, basically. Miss. Uh, I have some, I believe. I cannot show you those right now. Maybe later. But yeah, I do have actual vis visual, uh, physical evidence of that uh, happening. I mean, I'd have to look for them and that is going to take some time. I know where they are, they're just in a big, big pile of other photos. So now we are gonna go down this puddle. Whoop. And this is the entrance to hell. Oh really? That's cool. You know, that you can actually share your your passion with each other. That's really really cool. I'm basically the only gamer in in you know my family. I'm the only doctor in my family. My oldest sister did uh, start med school, but she didn't finish it. our grenade gun back wait I said I want my grenade gun back the other one where are you camera Come on just die already there we go finally uh, was there something else here? I don't believe so, so we just move along. Whoa. About PC building. Mm -hmm. I did that back in the day, but now I'm just like, you know, just, just, just make it for me, put it all together. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. 
Now here we have, I believe, our final nightmare fight. A little laptop for adding everything. No, you need a proper PC to do that stuff. You really need a proper PC. If you cheat. No, nope, get out of the ice beam. Okay. It is expensive, but it is gonna give you a lot, you know, a lot you more. Fool. You're so easy. How do you say? Trish, you? It's gonna help you uh, a lot with with your work, basically. Humans. It really is. What sweets! You should know better than to trust a stranger. Your presence has become a hindrance to my master's bloody scheme. Now die! Yeah. So now. He basically just hindered us in actually finishing this fight a little bit more quickly. No, it's not too bad. It just takes a little bit of time. And that is the end of Nightmare 3. Yeah, exactly, it is more comfortable than working on a laptop. No, I cannot jump away from that, but he can run to me from the other side of the room and save me. Derp a derp. Doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. Now we are gonna come up to the best cutscene in this entire game. The whole reason why this game exists. Some really great voice acting. Dante. It's really horrible. Dante, why did you save my life? Because you look like my mother. Now get out of my sight. The next time we meet, it won't be like this. Looking around, part I probably the best option. Of 730 dollars you may look like my mother but you know we're close for 730 you can you, ca you could get a pretty base, decent uh, never have her fire. a pretty decent uh, PC I believe I mean you can always go bigger and better and stuff like that but for 730 dollars you can get a pretty decent PC Okay. Next mission. Living cave. Uh, that is where we need to go, but we first need to do something else. Question mark? Yeah, we need to go over here.
I believe. I mean, that is the end of the level, that big door. But... Yeah, this we needed to do to open that up again. That was it. So we are gonna jump up and go through. And now we get these awful, awful hallway sections. With all these snake thingies. That are just gonna pick at us basically. And this is a dead end. Oh. Push, push, push. Just give me your orbs, please. Yep. Basically, this is an area where we cannot stand still for too long, or else things from the ground are gonna eat us. Now, why they put that in, I don't know. Just give me a green orb, please. I want some health back. Nope. Just leave me alone, you stupid freaking snakes. Basically, you cannot kill those snakes. You can only make them go back just a little bit. I don't want to die here. Leave me alone, snakes. Leave me alone, snakes. Leave me alone, snakes. Okay. Can you please, please give me a green orb? Yes, okay, at least a little bit. Not much, but it is something. Oh my god, no, I don't want to fight you guys. But I feel like I'm gonna have to. Uh, I really don't want to. Jump up. Yeah, I'm doing this a little bit cheesy just to be safe because I don't want to die. Okay. This is already enough to open the final door. Yep. Uh, 
And that is the end of this mission. And so now we are gonna get the best cutscene in gaming ever. The best piece of voice acting there is. Enjoy. Nope. Oh, I need to walk a little bit forward. Strange and ironic that it will end the same way. <laughs> Irony has favored you this time. Look there. Trish! Don't even think about it. Blink. She dies. You! Dante! <laughs> We are all, almost done with the game, uh, Durable. I'm just gonna finish it. Basically, we have the final boss now. And then we have one final mission to escape. Useless scum. Failure is one thing, but taking an RBA game like that. What is the matter? Kid Icarus style, sorta. How much longer are you going to keep zapping? Come out and show yourself, Mundus! Wait, I thought this was... Oh, the cutscene I'm talking about is actually gonna come after this, I believe. After the boss fight. I thought it was before, but it's after. And all of a sudden we are in space. Fireworks! Those eyes. Deep in them, I see the same light as in Sparta's eyes. Why my mother? That useless <clears throat> being. If you need a mother, I can create it. As many as you want. Just like I created Trish. Silence! This is my final four. All Dragon Ball Z style and shit. Hold on, the controls are inverted. I don't like that. And I cannot change that. Crap. No! No, 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 no. You don't break down on me now. We are almost done. Dude, the game just broke down. Well, maybe I can actually change the controls now. Um, keyboard? No. I want to not have my controls inverted.
Yeah, we will do be there for for a few hours. So if you want to pop in and you know play a little bit uh, with us, then that's fine as well. Yeah, there is just no no way to uh, to change the controls. That is annoying. Okay, so let's do this uh, again and skip the cutscene and immediately go into the fight, actually. There, skip. And, oh, here we are. Basically, up and down is inverted, which is really, really annoying. Because it really doesn't need to be inverted on this part. Yeah, sure, just just, just pop in and, and you can join. We, we are not still quite sure on what we are gonna play, but... But yeah, this is part one of the boss fight. It's basically just to shoot him up. Yeah, probably some Among Us, but also some other stuff. Basically, we need to first hit all the, the four big orbs in front of him before he becomes uh, vulnerable, like that. And with this, that should be done with phase one. Smack! And now we are in phase two. Which isn't all that fun of a phase, but, you know, it will we'll, we'll manage. And also we are not, uh, we are not our final form anymore. Oh, I want to have my regular handguns for this. Oh. I do believe some of these orbs could also contain green orbs. Well, this one just gave me double trigger, but I do believe some of them could also contain green orbs. Or was it that one? I don't know. I thought there was some way to, to get green orbs in this fight as well, but I don't remember exactly. And that is just an annoying attack. Yeah, 
I don't really feel like doing this uh, fight over and over again, so I am gonna use my health star basically. might actually use a holy water as well on this fight. What is CAH? Don't waste your time on that. Uh, spiky, spiky rain, spiky rain. Please don't let me die on this fight here. Let me live and defeat Mundus. Spiky rain, leave me be. Come on. Oh, no, 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 Basically, this is cheating. This is basically enabling God mode. But I don't care. You just won a game. What did you win? What did you win? I know the last was streaming effect, but what did you win, buddy? Now we have a great cutscene. Yeah, this is the one. My mother risked her life for me. And now you too. I should have saved you. I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light. light, 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 light. <laughs> oh, so bad and so amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. When sky lifts go wrong. It sounds like a... I know, it sounds like a... You know, a, a, a gimmicky, you know, a, a funny game. My father's also here now. Rest in peace. Trish, we hardly knew he, but still. Yeah, we got a D rank because we basically used two, two items. It, it was not, not a good fight. So let's do the final mission and finish up this game so I can actually have some dinner. We just basically need to uh, escape. That's all we need to do. And not just from hell, I mean from the entire island. So if we can skip a fight, we are gonna skip a fight. Not that you really need to, I mean... 
the time crunch is it all that we do need to do this fight in fact please stop going all over the place there is actually an item here please pick up the item thank you it's another untouchable can skip this one yep we can and we are gonna take this conveniently placed elevator Yeah, we don't care about you, we just wanna go. We are gonna go, we are gonna go, 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 go. We are gonna leave you all behind. And hello Smithic! Thank you, thank you for the raid! Hello there everybody! Wait, we actually need to do this fight. I'm actually finishing up some uh, Devil May Cry right now. How are you doing? Let me give one quick shout out to Smithic. That's me think. Thank you, thank you so much, buddy. What uh, what were you uh, playing? Uh, the stream is going uh, good. It's going on a little bit longer than I uh, expected, but that's uh, completely fine. I am gonna finish up Devil May Cry right now. This is the final stretch of the game, and then I'm gonna call it quits. Super Mario One and Lost Levels. Okay, okay. I think I finished the lost levels one time. And then I was like, yeah, I'm done with it, basically. But yeah, the original is still uh, somewhat fun. I, I played some de a decent amount of uh, Mario 35, which was also fun, but it, I got burned out by it really, really quickly, to be, uh, to be honest. Hello, Dr. Trouser. I like the name. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Yes, Mythic Raid. Really, really thank you. And thank you, this Moki. This Moki. Not monkey, but Moki. <laughs> thank you so much. And hello, Martin. Thank you, thank you for being here. There's no place to go. Look around. This will be your burial ground as well. Brah. Basically, this is our actual final fight. Thank you, Captain Frost, for the follow. Thank you for all the follows. Thank you so much, guys. Smoky Moki. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, thigh Smoky. Is that is that how you would say it then? Thigh Smoky. Mother. I don't know. That sounds weird. Okay, so now we basically have to get our devil trigger up and running. And we shoot it. Looks like we have a winner. Jackpot. Jackpot. Yeah, now that's an awesome so awesome line. Oh. 
Yeah, no you won't. Goodbye. And when you do come back, give my regards to my son, will ya? My son? Dante has a son? No, he doesn't. Or is he implying that it's gonna take him so long to get back that Dante at that point would actually have a son? Because Nero is the son of Virgil, not Dante. I, I, Plot Trish, hole? I don't devils know. Never cry. Devils never cry. <laughs> These tears. Tears are a gift only humans have. So touching. We're too late. Oh, we are gonna die here. In this sewer. <laughs> no, Trish. It's never too late. Well, I guess we're not gonna die here. We are just gonna stand here, look at each other, and that way we are not gonna die. Force. And we humans never give up. Are you ready? Dude, you're not a human, you're a Nephilim. Dante is not human. Exactly, it's okay to cry, even if you're a devil, it's, it's fine. Thank you, Cacti, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Now we do have a health bar here and we can shoot. Not that you really need to. I believe if you do absolutely nothing here, you still make it out just fine. You know, I'm, 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 not, I'm not doing anything right now. I'm not controlling anything. And I bet you we are gonna make it just fine to the end. Exciting. GG! Finishing the game without touching a button. <laughs> uh, look, mom! No hands! Basically. <laughs> oh. Ah, but yeah, that is Devil May Cry. Just squeeze that one in there. Wasn't planning on playing it today. Played it, finished it. Done. Oh. Yeah. Let's not forget, though, the underworld's evil is still alive. They will someday return. There's no need to worry, right? Because the world has the legendary Dark Knight Dante and his sidekick. His sidekick. Yeah, not until Devil May Cry 2, where this is all completely thrown out of the window. And we get Lucia, I believe she's called. Who has the same thing. I was created by Arius. <laughs> okay, great. Where's the place? We'll be right there. minutes <laughs> more than enough gg that is devil may cry everybody like i said i've played this game back in my teenage years over a hundred times uh, that doesn't mean i'm a master at it i still suck but yeah i i at least know what i'm doing in this game i know where to go basically which attacks i prefer all that stuff. Uh, but yeah. A quick uh, quick one-off uh, right here. We actually finished and we started and finished two games today in a single stream. That's pretty impressive if you ask me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I am gonna call it quits for now. I've been going on way, way too long. So uh, let's skip the... Yeah, I'm not a speedrunner. 
I don't speedrun. I prefer to take my time uh, for games. So yeah, we got our final ranking. We don't care. We don't care. You know, we didn't find all that much uh, secret missions. Um, so let's save real quick. Not that it really matters. Yeah, stop, stop, stop. I want to quit. I just want to exit. Wait, I want to exit. I want to get out of this game. There. And then we exit. Okay. So, uh, hope everyone had fun. Thank you again, uh, Smithic, for the raid, even if it was a short one. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for the new follows. And I am going to see uh, if we can find a proper raid target. Let's see who is online. Is Ross still, uh, still streaming? Yes, he is. Then let's throw it over to Ross. And maybe you guys can actually win a game. Uh, let's see. Where do I actually do the raid thing? I do that here. Ross. Uh, so thank you everybody for being here. Uh, happy New Year to everyone. Be safe if you are going to play uh, around with fireworks. You know, there are doctors out there, but you shouldn't uh, need them. They are there in case of an emergency, not because of your stupid ass playing with fireworks in a silly way. So... Don't do that. Be safe. Happy New Year. Uh, hope you all have a, a, a great turning of the year. And uh, you are a doctor yourself. Good, good. Me too. So we know what we're talking about. People can do some really not smart stuff. Let, let's, uh, let's keep it at that. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> But again, uh, see you all guys uh, next time in the new year. Goodbye, everybody. Give uh, Ross my, uh, my best. Don't be a dumbass, exactly. <laughs>